Everybody calls me Turk. I live in uh, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, which is about 40 minutes south of the city of Pittsburgh. I don't have an addiction to opioids, but what I do, what I have done is I've worked with uh, people in recovery with opioids for the last about seven years. We teach our staff here that recovery is not linear. It's not like, oh, I went to, you know, I have a problem, I go to rehab and now I'm all fixed, right? We realize that it is a uh, cyclic cycle. Anyone at any given time can have an addiction. I believe that we need to change the way that we look at addiction. You need to think of that individual in front of you as your mom, sister, or brother. You need to think of the, the person that is in front of you as some as a loved one, because it is a, they are a person that's worthy of love. We need to see individuals in, in struggling with addiction as people and worthy of being walked with, worthy of being in community. Why wouldn't I step into the hole and say, hey, I'm not strong. I'm not in your struggle, but I know my own struggle. Let's do this. There's so much that society can learn from a person who's in who's who's been through addiction. These are some of the most resilient people I've ever met in my life. The more individuals that are willing to hear a story and then also realize that one, it's not my responsibility to fix, and two, this person doesn't need me to fix their problems. This person just needs me to be there. I think once this, when, when the society shifts, when this shift does happen, when it stops becoming this dirty secret, right? It's exposed to light. Well, it's kind of like a Band-Aid, right? I get a cut and I keep the same Band-Aid on that cut. It's going to get infected. Well, when I pull the Band-Aid off and I start cleaning out the wound, what happens? It's exposed to fresh air, it starts to dry up, and my hand starts to heal. That's how that's going to change.